a sea shanty that's uh, newer than most of them because I wrote it after reading about a creature that was sighted for centuries off the coast of uh, Gloucester in northern Massachusetts. The um, <clears throat> people saw it and swore they saw it. They wrote it up in the newspaper in the 1800s, and the Gloucester paper dubbed this creature his snake ship, like his lordship, only his snake ship. So here's the story of the sea serpent of Cape Ann. Please sing along, and there's one clap that comes around in the chorus. We'll give you a chance, because after it goes by, you gotta wait for the whole verse to go around again. There's our daughter, two, three. All hail his snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Long may his tail flip, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Well, ye may scoff, and ye may grin, and think the serpent is not genuine. But many eyes on sea and shore have seen a sight they never saw before. All hail the snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Long may the sail flip, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Way back in 1638, John Jocelyn did contemplate a firing at this beast, but then his hand was stayed by an Indian. All hail the snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Long may the sail flip. The great sea serpent of Cape Ann. In August 1817, in Gloucester Bay, the mighty snake was seen. He was as long, one skipper swore, as the main mast of a 74. All hail the snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Long may his tail flip, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. The chase was on, rewards to win, but no net ever held the likes of him. For custom fees, he was not seized, but entered port any time he pleased. All hail his snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Long may his tail flip, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. Tis many years since he was seen, methinks that he prefers his water clean. As motors roar and traffic grows, to all our folly he's turned up his nose. All hail his snake ship, the great sea serpent of Cape Ann. 